In this video, we will give you an introduction to mapping RNA seq reads to the genome. We will go over RNA seq versus DNA seq and how to deal with spliced reads. We will also introduce you to HiSET2, a splice aware liner, and give you a summary of the algorithm. Splicing is a form of RNA editing that removes introns and gives rise to mature RNAs. So if you have DNA sequences and you want to map them back to the genome, these reads will map back, map back to both intron regions and exon regions. However, if you have RNA-seq reads and you map them back to the genome, you will only have reads mapping to only exon regions. In addition to reads mapping to exon regions, you also have reads that will span exons, and these are what we call spliced reads. These spliced reads will not map back to the genome, and therefore one would need a splice RL liner that would be able to identify where these spliced reads are and how to assign them to a particular transcript. And an example of such an aligner is HiSat2. Splicing is observed in multiple organisms at different rates. And because it is observed in multiple organisms, if you're performing RNA-seq and you want to map your RNA-seq reads back to the genome, you want to use a splice or aligner such as HiSat2. HiSat2 is a fast splice or aligner that was developed in the Salzburg lab at the Center of Computational Biology at the Johns Hopkins University. It is meant to be a replacement of, high set of top hat 2 and uses a Bortai 2 strategy. Given a transcript with three axons, high set 2 can map reads with various splicing characteristics. High set 2 uses a hierarchical indexing and employs two types of indexing, the first one being a global index, which tends to represent the whole genome, and the second being, a local, being local indexes, which are 55 KB regions covering the whole genome. So when you have a read, what HiSET2 does is initially uses the global index to assign the read to map the read to the genome. And the second step is to map the read using the local index, and this in turn just refines the location of where your read is mapping to. So as an example, we have two reads here that are spliced across two, uh, across two different axons. The first initial step would be to use a global index and anchor the read using the blue arrow, representing the blue arrow. And the second step would then use the local index to determine where your read is spliced. Um, and this is shown with the green arrow. It's this two-step global indexing and local indexing that allows for HiSET2 to, to, to be a fast aligner compared to other aligners such as TOPAD2. So in this video, we've given you an introduction to HiSET2, a fast slicer aligner, and it is meant to be a replacement of TOPAD2 for in, future, in the future, TOPAD2 will not be supported. There are other fast slicer aware aligners out there Example being star. Star requires a lot of memory, so if you decide to run star and use star to align your RNA seq reads, you want to make sure that you request enough memory from the server when you want to align your align with star.